Hello, welcome back to part seven. It is not part eight. Not eight. <laughs> seven and a bit. See, I was actually really quite annoyed while I was playing this because I was sniping grunts and I was like, I don't want to snipe grunts, but I am, I am in, in so relentless. I like grunts. Grunts are awesome. I know, especially with I would have been your daddy on. Yeah. Which people don't know, I, I, w, H, B, Y, D, I think. Um, there should be a trophy for playing through the entire game without killing a single grunt. Yeah. They're, they're not that threatening, apart from the kamikaze ones. As yeah. long as you don't do damage to the kamikaze ones, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, you just have to keep walking backwards. But no, I just love grunts because they always come up with like, lots of weird little dialogue for them. Yeah. Like when you scream about the food nipple. Yeah. You killed Flip Yap. Or was yeah. it yap flip? I don't know, all I know is... Um, oh, what was it? All I know is, we went to... Me and my, his brother went to Nipple Academy to brother, together. Mm. Anyway, now he's dead. <laughs> it's like, um, you know the, the jackals? If you, like, record them speaking, it sounds like they're just making weird noises, but if you play it backwards, yeah, yeah. it makes up proper sentences. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in Halo 3 they actually swore a lot too. Yeah. But that's what I mean, like, Halo, they have lots of really nice little details like that. You know, a lot of... There's a ridiculous amount of, 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 with. Ridiculous amount of Easter eggs. Mm. Um, in the fact that, well, not in this, uh, not on this, I don't know, but in, in, Halo, in Halo 3, I mean, there's ridiculous things, like, obviously they had to design the bullets. They couldn't just kind of import a bullet design and put it yeah. in. And so, I mean, obviously they put their own little thingy on it, and I mean, on, um, on the back of an ordinary kind of assault rifle kind of bullet is, um, I think it's the Master Chief's head. And on the back of the shotgun shell is a hippo's head. Yeah, and um, a sniper bullet says something as well, doesn't it? Yeah, they, they all, I think they have a certain word, I can't remember what it's called. And, um... It says. Things like the rocket launch are saying, hold this way up. Yeah. Mm. It's good all around. You always have little, like, um, you know, Achievement Hunter by Rooster Teeth. Yeah. They've been doing a lot of Easter egg videos. I've been trying not to watch them because I don't really want to see any spoilers. They're the ones that say the spoiler free I've had a look at. And they don't look easy to find. No, the data, is it the data sheets and stuff? I've actually not found any kind of just randomly walking around. I was kind of half expecting to at least find one. Yeah. Because I mean, I wasn't, well, I'm not on the, on, on the kind of set track all the time. Bad idea, don't get on the turret, you will die. Really, yeah. really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> really, you just need a, if you have a sniper, wonderful. If not, then just DMR them in the back. Just, just have one guy acting as the person that kind of takes their attention, and then the other person acting as the guy that snaps him in the back. They die from one snipe in the back, or a couple of shotgun shells to the back, Wait, so... The hunters look so cool in this game now. I know, I think it's half because they're glowy because I have my mission on. Hmm. But they look cool anyway. So yeah, I thought they were awesome in the first game. You know what I miss? Johnson. No, that's another thing you can have. You can have Johnson's voice in Firefight. You know, I told you you can have um, Master Chiefs. If you get yeah. enough credits, you can have Sergeant Johnson's voice. You can get Cort Cortana's voice as well. If not. Awesome. I would so have, like, either Johnson or Chief. Yeah. I'm not sure. Chief yeah, has an epic voice, but Johnson is just epic. No, at the moment I'm saving up for EVA, which I've just realised I need to be major for, so it depends whether I have enough credits. Um, um, with a, when I'm building up credits I get. If a, ooh, damn! I didn't even realise he was there. <laughs> so when it comes to like, unlocking stuff, is it like you buy it with credits rather than you unlock it once you reach a certain level? Yeah, I mean, well, you unlock the opportunity to be able to buy them. Yeah. But oh, so like, you need to get to a certain level to be able to buy it. Yeah, but then you need then to you save up credits and stuff to buy it. But, credits, yeah. right. So, I mean, so it's not like in Halo 3 where you just have to get certain achievements. Yeah. And I mean... Alright. The EVA... like, the EVA helmet I've got needs... Um, 
not the sorry the EVA helmet that I want um, requires thirty thousand credits and um, thirty thousand credits and you need to be a major and I'm only a marsh um, uh, what's he called something officer um, oh god what's it called something officer the low one um, what the hell's it called Marsh uh, it's either marshal officer or something like that marshal. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like that they've done that with the unlocking stuff. Because I've never been a fan of, you know, you level up to get certain things. Yeah. Like, um, it's the main thing that put me off playing COD Online. I really don't like, you know, leveling up and getting better in a shooter. Because to me, shooters are all about, you know, being good at playing it, not having better gear. Yeah, they've also eliminated the point in um, deranking. Which is where you kind of quit matches, like um, where you kind of quit matches, so your experience goes down and stuff, which they had in Halo 3. And yeah. now, when you quit, you don't go down experience. Just if you quit enough times in a small amount, if in a short period of time, you kind of just get banned from playing online for a day. So yeah. it's like completely pointless playing it. I mean, so don't they really have, quit. Sorry, Bungie, but you have kind of slightly buggered it up in a bit. No, because um, relentless here. Um, he's having a problem with his connection. Um, well, not with his connection. Just certain people had some had had some problems in the fact that um, they'd randomly get booted out of matches for no point. Uh, yeah. And Bungie took it as quitting, and so like it kept happening to him over and over and over again. And then he's banned from playing on yeah. online for a day. And so he's like really annoyed and stuff. Back when Halo 3 first came out, and I used to play quite a lot, I had, like, not a very good connection, and I always used to get annoyed when I get booted out of games, you know, because they take away experience. Yeah. I know that always really annoyed me. Yeah, but now you just get booted, you just get banned from Xbox Live. Yeah. Well, that's just not nice. Well... I'm sure they'll probably do something about it, though. They'll make a patch. Yeah, they're, 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 make, they're fixing it. See, I want to know what's coming next from Bungie. No, um, like, you know they've said that well, they yeah, are definitely this is not making any more Halo games now. Doesn't mean there's not going to be any more Halo games from anyone, just not from Bungie. Yeah, which is a shame. Um, she did very well. Like lots of people seem confused about that. It's like Bungie has split up from Microsoft, so now they can make consoles from both, you know, games for both consoles. Yeah, but Halo still belongs to Microsoft. Which is why Reach is the last game. But that means that Bungie is going to be making games now for consoles other than just the Xbox. Yeah. I think that could be quite interesting. And now you're getting your Xbox fixed, just to be ironic. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm wondering what they're going to do next. Uh, Cutscene. Yes. Confirmed. Receiving Nova 3 and Nova 6 live visual of a Covenant strike force. It's no strike force, it's an invading army. If we're gonna smother this thing, we need to go in hard and fast. Agreed. All recon teams, disengage and fall back. Then we'll be up in a few hours, and it's going to be a very busy day. Epic. Massive mm. purple thing. Nice and shiny looking. I want to lick it. Like a lolly? Yeah. It's purple flavored! It's probably like cranberry or something. That's red. Oh, that's very cool. No, they're kind of a reddish purple. <laughs> anyway, this is an epic cutscene. They've done a really good job on this of kind of making you feel whilst you're in the cutscene that you're kind of really surrounded by like an army and stuff. Yeah. And I've got a text from Relentless. Con, let your mum know I failed. Oh dear, no. He did fail at that last mission. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just. Oh, that's a shame. He failed at his um, catering calls, but I think he, if he fails twice, then he gets fired from his job. But I, th I, I, have a, I, I don't know whether he's failed before. But that doesn't sound good. No, but so I suppose as long as he doesn't fail again, I, th I think he's only failed once now. Maybe it's from playing too much Halo. <laughs> anyway, we'll stop talking. Three, two. 
Look at this epic bit here. Just after, just after this bit. I've always liked the music in Halo. Yeah. Marty O'Donnell. <sighs> Hang on, look at this, look at this. Epic! Painful. Yeah. Can you hear me? Six, you alright? I could use some help. Anyway. Halo equivalent of the noob tube. I don't like it at all. Anyway, we'll see you next time for noob tubing. Yes. Goodbye.